This is Personal Injury Court. Good day, everyone. This is the case of Baxter versus Soriano. Ms. Baxter, it's my understanding you're suing for injuries that your son sustained while at a graduation party at Ms. Soriano's house uh, while he was doing some kind of stunt at a swimming pool. You're suing Ms. Soriano for medical expenses of $100,000, future medical expenses of another $100,000, and pain and suffering for your son of $300,000 for a total award of half a million dollars. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And, and Ms. Soriano, uh, you don't believe this was your responsibility despite the fact that it happened at your pool, right? Correct, Your Honor. So this is a case where a stunt at a pool went wrong. He was trying to copy something he saw online. Let's take a peek at it. Now, that's how it goes right, and this is, is how it goes wrong. Let's get into the legal sauce. Now, how did your son come to go to Miss Soriano's house? Well, my son has been friends with the Soriano's son, Brad, for years. They've been friends since freshman year. And that's, that's Brad here in the courtroom? That's Brad. Okay. He's either always at my house or my son is at their house. The boys are close friends. He heard about the daughter's party and he went there with a group of his friends. So he goes to the party and that's where this, this uh, attempt at this stunt happened? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Soriano, you were having this graduation party for your daughter? Yes, Your Honor. And uh, you knew kids were coming over to your house. Yes, sir. What, what kind of preparations did you make for this party? Well, Your Honor, we were having a graduation party for my daughter. You graduate once. Um, we invited 20 of her closest friends, printed out invitations. Did you anticipate that the kids would be in the pool? Absolutely not, Your Honor. Now, you got a big, beautiful pool, it's my understanding from the documents you submitted to this court. Yes, sir. You're gonna have a party and teenage kids won't get in the pool? Well, I mean... I want to get in that pool right now. Again, exactly. Well, Your Honor, um, this was a graduation party for my daughter. This was her party. But that's he's always we over there playing yes, with but, Brad. Okay, and that's the point is he wasn't invited to this party. But you okay. never told him to go home. You're Wayne, right? Yes, Your so Honor. So you spent a fair amount of time at the Soriano's home, right? Yes, Your Honor. And your buddy, he spent time at your house. Yes. Correct. Okay, so you all expected this was going to go good for you, right? Correct. So tell me how this stunt went wrong. I was there with my friends. We went to the party, and after that, we went to the game room. I don't really play it all like that, but I, I went and I told one of my homeboys to come on, let's go to the pool. Okay, so you go into the pool, then what happened? After that, I bring out the trampoline. Where was the trampoline? In the corner, off in the distance. Okay, so you pulled it near the pool. Yes, Your Honor. And then what did you do? I watched the video. So you watched the video that day before you did this? Yes, Your Honor. And then I tried to do it exact, the exact same way. I got on the trampoline, jumped a couple of times, propelled to go into the water, but I hit the concrete and... And what part of you hit the concrete? My upper neck and my back. Now, how did you know, Ms. Soriano, that something bad had happened? What was your first notice of that? Well, Your Honor, I, the boys went to play video games. I didn't know anything was out of the ordinary until I heard screaming. Did you know they were even in the pool? They were not supposed to be in the pool. I told everyone, stay out of the pool. Your Honor, she usually doesn't even pay attention to the kids at her house. She's scatterbrained. That's not so, true. So you all both agree. I mean, you all sound like great moms, right? You we both agree you gotta watch kids when they come to your house. I, I watch her son. Her son has never gotten hurt at my house, okay? Now, would, how many kids are there? Would her son getting hurt at your house mean it's your fault, in your mind? I mean, it would mean that I poorly supervised them, yes. Okay. Now, so were you... pulled something out of the house. Ms. Okay. Soriano, you were watching the girls, right? Because that was the graduation party. It was girls and guys in the graduation party, but it was the 20 that were invited. Okay. And when I saw my son had some friends, they went to play video games, so I didn't think anything of it. Again, Wayne had been at my house many times. He's like a... Another child to me. He's there all the time. And so, that's a beautiful thing. Right. Yes. Now, Miss Soriano, your first notice is you heard screaming. Yes, sir, I did. And then what did you do? Then uh, we ran outside to check and saw a bunch of kids pointing, and my son Brad had called 911. And then when he called 911, his main thing was getting help. Miss Baxter, how did you find out this had gone bad? Oh my God, it was horrifying. One of the, Brad called me and told me that 911 was on the way to the hospital with my son. Your heart must have sunk. My heart dropped, Your Honor. 
When I got to the hospital, I was terrified. I mean, he had sustained a cervical spine fracture and a concussion. He had to have surgery. The pain was unbearable. Your what Honor. was going through move. your mind? I thought he was paralyzed for life. What was going through your mind when you hit this concrete? The pain was just very, very unbearable. All I could think of is my poor baby, and how could somebody let something like that happen to my child? And you I thought his future was over. I would never allow something like that to happen to their child at my house. So, Ms. Soriano... Yes, sir. This, yes, Your Honor. This happened on your property. Yes, sir. It's severe injuries to a minor who some would say under your care because they're on your property. Is this still not your fault? Uh, your Honor, I don't believe it is because we had a trampoline that we were be? throwing out, and it was waiting to be picked up. It was inoperable. It was broken down. Hadn't been used in years. And so, so why was it outside? Wait, it was at the trash to be thrown out. It should have been thrown away. So he goes to the side of my house and drags it from the side of the house to the pool. Who does that? What were you doing? I was taking care of... You should be looking at... You should be supervising all of the I, children at I'm your house. I'm so sorry, Your Honor. Where was your husband? That a 17-year-old needed maximum supervision. Kids will be kids. Not be allowed. That's not a kids, kids will be kids will action, be kids. Your Honor. A kids will be kids action, Your Honor, is a broken window or a broken vase, not a 17-year-old pulling a trampoline from the trash. It so, Ms. Soriano, it Ms. Soriano here's what I want you to do. I want you to go over to the monitor and show me where the trampoline is in relation to the pool. Yes, Would sir. you do that for me? Yes, sir. Thank you. Your Honor, obviously, my house and where the trampoline was, as I said, it was broken, old, no one used it in years. So we had it all the way to the very corner of the house where it was gonna be picked up for trash to be thrown away. It was here and Wayne goes and pulls it out from all the way there and pulls it all the way to the pool. And where were you when all this happened? I was inside the house with the rest of the children supervising my daughter's graduation party that he was not invited to. Did you know that any of the kids were outside? No, sir, they were playing video games. It was Brad's friends. Okay, you may, you may go back to Thank the podium. You. Thank you so much. Never Ms. Once. Soriano, I see that uh, your son Brad is here. I want to yes, hear sir. from him. Yes, sir. Brad, could you step up to the podium here? Yes, Your Honor. One of your buddies, one of your best friends, I saw the photos of you and him going down the steps. You guys were besties, is what my son would say. Yes, sir. Uh, what, what happened out there? To start off, we did all go and play video games, all of us hanging out because we're all friends. Okay. I got eliminated because even the best fall sometimes. I passed the controller to a friend because it was their turn. And I go to reach for my water that was on the windowsill. Okay. That's immediately when I see Wayne thrusting his arms forward to project himself forward. Oh, so you didn't know he was outside? No, sir. It was as if he had snuck out to go follow his own passions. So what did you see? By the time I looked, he was thrusting his arms forward. It was pretty majestic at first, and it was going, going, and then, bam, dead log on the ground. He did not move a muscle. Mm. What went through your mind when you saw your buddy hit that concrete? Well, I am a certified lifeguard. Our first job, whenever we are on the job, you get 911. Like, that is a serious problem. I've seen him play sports, either from the bench or from the bleachers. So I know when Wayne can take a hit and when Wayne gets a hit. I saw from some of the sports documents that you submitted to the court that, uh, Wayne, you play a number of sports. Yes, Your Honor. So you're a super jock like my boys. Yes, sir. He's an all-star athlete. My son has several scholarship offers. You don't know yet about the scholarships. No. Your son is obviously in a lot of pain. What do you have to do to care for him? I, I, I cook for him. I wait on him hand and foot. My, if I'm not there, my husband is there to do that. I can't be there to wash his bottom like I did when he was a child, so he has to wait until my husband comes. And sometimes my husband works long hours, so he's waiting quite now, a while. Now, does he have time. to sit up and sleep this way? He has to sleep this way. Uh, he can't play sports, which is his livelihood. Now, I see from your documents that you and your husband have already paid $100,000 in medical Yes, expenses. we have, Your Honor. And you all anticipate another hundred in future medical. Yes, Your Honor. That, that's a lot of money. How's that affected you all? It's a, a financial strain, Your Honor. It's really There can good. be no greater pain for a parent than a pain to their child. Yes. There's no doubt about that. Yes, it's been so stressful. You know, I share your worry. Because uh, two of my boys are scholarship athletes, yeah. and uh, that was their dream. So to have that potentially taken away from yeah. them would scare me. But, Your Honor, I'm sure they're Thank not going to go to their friend's house and pull out a trampoline and 
attempt a ridiculous stunt like that. Miss no. Oriano, 17 years kids old. Will the, kids. This, kids will this be kids. This case, this case kind of illustrates the difference between men and women. Maybe, maybe teenage girls wouldn't wouldn't try that kind of stunt. Mm -hmm. Right. Teenage boys, boys might though, and we know they do, right? Exactly. How do you prevent a teenage boy from doing something stupid at your house? I supervise them. I check in on them. I, hey, you guys hungry? How's she gonna do drunk? that if she's got 20 kids inside? She's, she's you know, uh, running a party. Honor, quite honestly, she should have said, she should have said, <laughs> Wayne, Wayne and Brad's other friends, go home. Go to go They're to your house, Wayne. Games together How about like Brad and you guys go to did. your house? Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Go home. They weren't invited. She said they weren't invited. Your well, how would that chill out. the friendship if you sent your exactly. son away? I'm saying the, all the boys could have come to my house, but don't half watch them. But if they got hurt on your property, according to you, that fact alone, it's your fault, right? Folks, I need to understand the severity and nature of Wayne's injuries. So this court has consulted Dr. Karen Flood to come in and explain his injuries. Sheriff Matt, will you get Dr. Flood? Yes, Your Honor. How are you, Doctor? Very well, Your Honor. State your name for the record, please. Your Honor, I'm Dr. Karen Flood. Could you explain the plaintiff's injuries? Yes, Your Honor. So when he struck the concrete, he actually suffered a fracture of his cervical spine. Those are the bones that connect the head to the rest of the body and protect the spinal cord, all the nerves that go out to the rest of the body. And when that happens, if you fracture it severely enough, the spinal cord becomes unstable, and we have to hold it in place to keep from damaging those nerves and everything else that makes your body function. And, and is that why you've got this brace on him? Yeah, so he's actually in a halo vest. H how does this thing work? Well, it, it, we call it a halo vest because it starts out being placed around the head just like a halo. And in order to fix that into place, you can see he's got some screws here. We clean up the skin, numb it up a little bit because you actually put this on when they're a little bit awake. And then you use a torque screwdriver to drive those into the skull all the way around the head to hold that. So in those place. screws are driven into his skull? Yes. How long has he got to keep this thing on? Well, it depends how long it takes his bone to heal. It's usually about eight to 12 weeks. Thank you, doctor. You are released. Thank you. So, Ms. Soriano, you see that uh, Wayne suffered a really bad injury. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I know you've got to feel bad about that. I, I can see awful. that on your face. Like, he was like my child, Your Honor, but again, this was my daughter's graduation party that he was not invited to. And Her what daughter I don't invited him on social media. My daughter did not invite him, Your Honor. Why would you say that, Ms. Baxter? Because she posted about being so excited about her graduation party, and then he commented, see you there, and she liked his post, which would mean... Your Honor, the I'll chemistry you teacher there. liked it, too. That Does that mean she was, he was She invited? didn't say you can't come, well, but, invite only. But he's at your property, though, right? You didn't ask him to leave. No, but as I said, Your Honor, he's been there many times before, and I never thought that he would do something so idiotic. In every personal injury case, the plaintiff has to prove that the defendant's wrong caused the harm that the plaintiff claims. Here, you're clearly harmed. This was a stunt gone bad. Ms. Baxter, I know how you feel sending your son over to somebody's house. You think he's gonna return safe, yeah. and what you did was meet him in the hospital and fear for his life. Ms. Soriano, I understand that he wasn't supposed to be your concern that day. You had the graduation party, and in fact, you had told all the children, don't go to the pool. And while you were distracted, this terrible thing happened. And here you find yourself getting sued. Now, Ms. Baxter, you understand that your, your son tried to do a thing that was ill-advised. I admit that it was, you know, a childish prank, you know, it was ill-advised, you know, but that's what these kids are doing today with social media, you know, they're trying to be stars. However, I still feel like it's her responsibility to be supervising the children that are at her house. Well, it does take a village to protect the child from himself. <laughs> the law requires everyone to care for their own safety and care for others in their care. Here, I find Given that you pulled that trampoline to the pool and did something that was inherently dangerous, it is very, very difficult for me to pin that on Miss Soriano. You have terrible injuries, and despite that, as much as it pains me, I must find in Miss Soriano's favor because you have not proven that she did something wrong, and that's the beginning of a personal injury case. And that is my final verdict. This matter is adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor.
Our attorneys across America just viewed this case for the first time. Let's hear what Leonard Lundy has to say. Parents, listen up. If you're having kids at your house, supervise them because you could be liable if an injury occurs. Defendants only escape liability because the plaintiff's actions deviated from the scope of their invitation. And teens, do not try to go viral by performing crazy stunts. The consequences are not worth the risks.